Super Sorrel, thank you very much for tuning in. So, the channel has gone full circle. You've seen Super Sorrel rise to nearly 2,000 followers. And I started with the Force Awakens merchandise line, their um, um, Force Friday, as it was called last year. This year we've had Go Rogue, and I've been shopping, and I've gone a little overboard. I've gone a little overboard. I bought a little bit too much. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do a rundown, a haul of everything that I've purchased today. And I'm not even done. That's the thing. You'll see at the end what I mean when I say I'm not done. There's some things that you know that I'm going to want that I haven't been able to find. But let's get on with the show. First things first, we picked up our, well, we didn't pick up. This was our pre-order. I pre-ordered Black Series Genoso because I wasn't sure whether we were going to find her on the day. Good job I um, did actually pre-order her because she was not available in store. So, glad I pre-ordered her. She's number 22 in the Black Series line. Stay tuned to the channel for a full review. Let me plonk that over there. Next up, the Unmasked Black Series Kylo Ren single fig. I know he came out at the uh, conventions this year in the nice pack with the Darth Vader melty helmet. But um, I wasn't able to pick that up, so I'm going to make do. I've picked up a, a Black Series one. I'm going to compare it to my Elite Series one as well in the review. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up real soon. Next up, guys, I'll move. I'll keep on the Black Series bandwagon. I picked up KS, uh, sorry, K2SO, um, which is the new droid in Rogue One. Really excited to unbox him. We then went for a Imperial Death Trooper Black Series 2. He was available everywhere today, which is funny because I've been reading that you guys in the States have been really struggling to find this bad boy, and he's everywhere in the UK. I can't believe that the ones in the UK that are like getting lynched are like Ahsoka Tano, even though we've already had a Black Series Ahsoka once before. Apparently the new one is like hotcakes. I think she's a 3 inch as well. I don't think she's even a 6 inch fig. Um, we'll go on to the 3.75s just because I'm discussing them. So I managed to pick up Sabine Wren. She's pretty cool. We managed to pick up um, K2SO again. We managed to get Kanan Jarrus in his Rebels attire. Well, it's the uh, the Stormtrooper attire. Sorry, he's got a, a helmet that uh, you can put it on and remove it as well. Oh, by the way, there's a cool new app as well, guys. There's an app this year which can, you can add sound, effect, sound effects and, like, video clips and things because they want you to... Um, it's the download the Hasbro Star Wars Studio FX app to make videos with your toys because this year they're all about hashtag go rogue and you can now enter the competition to hashtag go rogue and win some goodies with Star Wars and Disney. Um, you've got to download the app and then you can make like awesome animations and stuff with the like big explosions and things with the toys. I'll definitely be using that and I'll see what I can come up with. But um, again, I've got a 3.75 Genoso as well. This one's the um, Edu, Edu edition, which that was the one that came out today. The one that we're expecting in Wave 2 is Jin Erso Jeddah edition. Um, just because we've now done all the 3.75s, the one that the ones that I couldn't get, I was unable to get the uh, the Star Wars Rebels edition of Princess Leia. Um, she could be in Wave Two, uh, may not be available at launch. We knew that from the uh, the new checklist that came out a couple of nights ago. Um, and the other one that I couldn't get was a two pack. Um, I don't mean the rapper. I mean the Darth Maul Old Master versus the Seventh Sister Inquisitor. Now the versus packs were selling out everywhere. Rebel Commando with the Imperial Death Trooper was sold out. Poe Dameron with First Order Storm Snow Trooper was sold out. Uh, the only ones that I saw was Baze Maldus versus the Storm Trooper and Moroth versus the Scarif Storm Trooper squad leader. Those were the only two I saw in store today. I'm really wanting the Darth Maul Old Master. I really want my Rebels. I love my Rebels collection. Uh, but let's move on with the haul. So, I know this is an old this is an old fig now, actually, but um, my wife managed to pick this up for me. Um, this C-3PO, big 12-inch with the red arm. It's pretty cool. Something a bit different. So I'll keep him there in the background. I love C-3PO. Sorry, I was laughing at him because I can hear his voice in my head going, These people think I'm some kind of god. So let's move on to the Elite series now. 
I picked up three Elite Series today, guys. We got a Imperial Death Trooper. Really excited to look at him. These are solid metal as well. They're really good. I did a lot of reviews of these last year, and I'm going to keep on doing them because I love the Elite Series. I got Sergeant Genurso, of course. Oh, no! I smashed my computer keyboard in half. <laughs> Genurso. These things weigh a ton. When I say I snap my keyboard in half, I bloody might as well have done. And the K, uh, K2SO again in a Elite Series form. So, yeah. I know I got some of the same figs in different forms. I always do that, guys. As you know from behind me, I've got many Darth Mauls. I've got many, you know, many Han Solos and all different characters um, throughout different lines. I like to collect certain ones, and I'll continue to collect them in different forms. Just so I can show you as well when I do my reviews, I like to be able to compare them. So that'll be coming up real soon. You'll see a big change in my reviews going forward, guys. You're going to see me compare a lot more and do a lot more side-by-side -side comparisons of different figs. So stay tuned for that. Um, is there any that we missed? So let's go to Black Series. So I managed to pick up the ones I want. I wasn't bothered for Rey and BB-8 just because I've got the Elite Series and she looks identical. There was no difference between Black Series and Elite Series. I know I say I buy certain ones over and over. There wasn't enough of a change for me to warrant a second fig. So I haven't bothered. Uh, Ca Captain Cassanian Andor uh, from Adu. I haven't bothered with him either. Uh, Kylo Ren and Mast I've got. Uh, the director I didn't bother with. Scarish Stormtrooper squad leader I haven't bothered with. I might end up getting the Storm the, the Stormtrooper. I'm not sure yet. Um, and C-3PO with a resistance base. Now, here's a funny story. My wife thought she was getting that when she rang me at work today. She said, because she was the one that picked up some of these for me as well while I was at work and then I went out tonight and bought some other stuff. Um, but she said to me, she goes, I found C-3PO with a red arm, and I said, Black Series, and she went, yeah, 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 it looks, it's really cool, he's got a red arm. So I assumed she heard me when I said Black Series, uh, and it turns out she didn't hear me, and that's when she picked up this. <laughs> but it don't matter, it don't matter. We've still got a nice new 12-inch, um, and it's C-3PO, man, you can't, you can't go wrong with C-3PO. Uh, it's just a shame that it's from the old range now, it's from Force Awakens, so I hope she got a bit of a discount on it. Uh, but let's move forward guys, I did pick this up and this review will be coming real soon. This is limited edition of 3000 pieces guys, I've managed to pick up the range of pop vinyls. You know me, I love my pops and I love the Disney Store e, you know, European exclusive. So I always pick these up. This box includes Jin Erso, Captain Cassanian Andor, K2SO, C2B5, Imperial Death Trooper, Scarif Stormtrooper, da Darth Vader and Director Orson Krenrick. So, um, yeah, I had to get me one of those, <laughs> just because it's a massive set, and you know, I would have ended up buying most of them in it. I would have bought a new Darth Vader, I would have bought the Imperial Death Trooper, and I would have bought the uh, Scarif Stormtrooper. So when you're thinking you've already spent 30, you may as well buy the rest, and if you buy them like this, you get a discount just for buying them in the box and buying them, you know, rather than buying them separately. So, I, you know, I was weighing up the options, I thought, yeah, why not, I've been paid, let's do this. Um, I've just been looking, uh, the Scave Stormtrooper, um, I will be getting as a Black Series, I didn't realise that was him, it's that new um, sandy looking Stormtrooper, so yeah, I definitely will be getting one of those in a Black Series if I can find him, so stay tuned for that. Ugh. We were upset that we weren't able to do much of a vlog today, just because it was so busy, we were, we were separated for most of it. I was at work, and then when I finished work, she went to all different places, So, and I went to different stores trying to find different stuff, so we, we, we didn't spend much time together today, so tomorrow we are going to go out again, um, and this time we're going to go look for the um, some more, we're going to go to the Disney store at Meadow Hall tomorrow, um, so if any of you guys are in that region, come out and see us, we're going to be in Meadow Hall most of the day, looking at the different exclusives that Disney store have, and I'll be doing more, more vlogging tomorrow. They have a nice Lego star there too. So guys, I also picked up... This button's not working though. Oh no! I also picked up one of these bad boys. Yeah! It's the Death Trooper voice changer. If you've been on the channel long enough, you know that I love these stupid little things. I like anything that's playful. I did one of these reviews last year and I got like 10,000 hits on it. Um, so I'm definitely doing another one of these. I loved them. I got the I got Kylo Ren and a Stormtrooper. Well, the first order Stormtrooper last year. So I got the Death Trooper this year. I'm going to try that on later and see what that does to my voice. But it lights up this one as well, so that's cool as hell. 
Guys, because we pre-ordered stuff, we did get some trading cards from Disney Store. Now let me show you one of these, and I got two packs. I got two of them, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway. These were only available to the first, I think, a thousand orders. Um, so let's have a look. So these are some nice glossy cards with the different characters on them and the different pictures from the new Rogue One. So they collect, they are collector's items, I suppose, because they're only limited. They didn't give them to everyone. They're all numbered, by the way, as well, which is a good sign. But I've got two sets of them, and I don't need two sets of them. And I want to help some of you guys that weren't able to get anything like this on pre-order. So, if you're interested in receiving a set of those from me through the post, let me know in the comments, and I'll enter everyone into a competition. And um, I'll definitely be drawing a name by tomorrow. So that'll include that. <laughs> Ooh, coffee. I'll include that in my vlog tomorrow. So you've got until tomorrow morning to add your name to the list by 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. It doesn't give you much of a window, I'm sorry. By 11 o'clock tomorrow, we will decide from the comments who gets this set. So make sure you are in the comments talking away to me and I'll send them through. Guys, what did you think of this haul? Are you looking forward to the reviews that are coming up on the channel? All those will be up and online within the next... Um, Let's say within the next five days, um, just to give me a bit of time. <laughs> There's a lot there to do. So um, please bear with me, guys, while I you know, video some of these. They'll be uploaded periodically to the channel over the next week or so. Probably five, six days, seven days. I realise there is a lot there, so it might take me a while. But I'll be going through them. And um, definitely looking forward to doing this range. Any more that I pick up along the way, I will definitely tell you about. And I'll be videoing and stuff. Um, if you want to know where, you know, what I'm up to and whereabouts I am, um, you might want to check out in the description. You'll find links to my Twitter, Facebook, Facebook group that all my uh, you know, fans and friends are a part of. Uh, it gives you insight as to what conventions I'm at and what meet and greets I'm doing. So go to there if you want to meet me and you know, keep up to date with what I'm up to. Um, as well, you can keep up to date with me using... Um, Instagram. I like to take a lot of cool pictures with you know, the toys and things like that. So. If you want some nice up close, glossy images that are, you know, from a nice camera and things, check that out as well and you might enjoy that. I've waffled for too long. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I'll speak with you again. Hit that subscribe button. It really supports the show. I'm going to be doing another giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. So, guys, if you want to be a part of that, you need to be subscribed, you need to like the video, and you need to... <laughs> to enter the competition for these though guys you must comment in the description and you must be a subscriber let me know by tomorrow if you would like to receive these and I'll decide thank you very much tune in speak with you again bye bye